Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are here to do a 12 by 12 layout. This is from the Mini Kit Monday February 2022 kit. It was the mega kit that we put together. You can see here I am starting with the background of one of the papers that were in the Get It Girl paper pad from DCWV. I am using the one of the papers that looks kind of a little bit mixed media-ish on this one. You can see that layout right there. That is a layout Kathy did. I am going to be scrap lifting her today. I do. I will tell you that I do love her layout much better than the one that I, that I did, the one how mine came out. You can see I did put it in the top right hand corner of your screen this time. The way the desk is set up, I'm a little bit closer to one side than the other now. Um, so yeah, it's going to have to be in the right hand corner of your screen. So I am going to be scrap lifting this. I did choose several papers to go ahead and cut up into strips. You can see how the original, it just has these blocks. She also used one of those mixed media paper. The one that she uses from, I think it's called Legendary or um, something like that. It's one that uh, a boys collection from Coco Vanilla. So it already had some mixed media um, type bits on the corners of the paper and around it so I did want to kind of mimic that just a little. You can see I am pulling out my big shot. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some tags. One of the papers I chose is a really cute striped paper. I don't think I have another one available to show you but it has different color stripes and I just chose this color that I wanted right there. I did actually think it's kind of like a tan color and then I chose a little bit of the pink that has a little bit of the tan on the side for a tag as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut several tags up. In the original, I don't believe she has as many tags as I have, but I do love the tags, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I also cut the reinforcers out. This is that tag die that I picked up at Close to My Heart. absolutely love this. I get a lot of mileage and use out of it because... I love tags. There it is right there. So cute. I think it might be on back order right now, but if it is not, I will have it linked down below. So you can see the bits that I have cut out. They're a little bit larger scale than what Kathy had done. I am going to be ripping the sides of them though, as she did. I am going to be using this photo of John and I. And you can see I put the photo down on that piece of paper first and then I'm ripping around it trying to get it how I would like. Right there I'm rubbing the edges again with a, a baby wipe just so I could get them folded up the way I like them. It's just easier for me um, if I dampen and moisten the edges. A lot of people do not go that extra step and that's absolutely fine um, for me. It just works easier. I don't know. Maybe my fingers are broken. <laughs> I don't know. We are going to be tearing this strip as well. This is going to be one of the strips that are going to be horizontal along the page. It does have, it's one, it's that one of those striped papers that I was telling you about that has the tan and the pink and the orange. I did leave a little bit of the orangey brown and also a little strip of pink on that one. We're going to be using this little piece as well. This is just going to go and fill out the bottom of the photo right there. The corner piece right there is where that is going to end up going. This is a very quick and easy layout. Well, actually, the video is not very fast. I don't know uh, why it took so long to do this whole thing, but it did. You can see I am putting together that mat, not on the paper. I am putting together that mat around my photo before I am gluing it down to the page like this where I'm going to be roughing up the edges of the tag as well. Now that tag, um, or sorry, I'm roughing it up with that um, Tim Holtz Distressor. I've had that in my stash for a while. You can rough up edges with um, any kind of distressing tool. There, A lot of companies make it, or you could just use your scissors. Just a little pair of scissors would work. Big pair of scissors, it doesn't matter. It would work. This right here is what it's going to serve as my title. It says, Feels Like Home. That is off of a One Canoe 2 sticker sheet that was in my Mini Kit Monday Mega kit for February. We're going to go ahead and put some foam tape under that, some foam dots, and give that a little pop up. And that a cute title for a photo of John and I. It says, feels like home. We're going to go ahead and stick that down right here. Also on here, I am going to be using other pieces, or other pieces, yes, other pieces and stickers that are also from the One Canoe 2 sticker sheet as well. I had that whole sticker sheet in there. This sticker I'm playing with right here says, remember this, it's not going to make it, but I was trying to make it, make it. 
<laughs> but it's not going to make it on there. I do leave it sitting there for a minute or two. There's Kathy. She's uh, sitting there looking at something. I don't know. This little flag right here, again, off the sticker sheet. Not going to get used. I was really trying to get it used. I wanted to get all of those stickers from that sticker sheet used so I can at least have something that is used up for Mini Kit Monday. I, the kit, of course, like I said, was super mega. And... I'm not sure if we're going to end up getting um, most of that used or not. It really was a big goal. I even put together like a little booklet, a little book for um, March, kind of do like a March day in a life or, you know, highlights of March or whatever. I put together a little book. I thought that'd be cute to just have done and maybe laying around in a basket somewhere in the house. Um, I'll show you, I'll show that to you at the end of the month, but might make some more of those to get some more of this paper uh, used up. We are gonna be fudding, fudding. We are gonna be fussy cutting some of these flowers out of this paper. This is also paper from the Get It Girl paper pad that is from DCWV. It's the paper pad that was on my desk that I threw into the kit. So we fussy cut out several of those. Now this sticker I'm putting down right here, I'm just using this sticker to kind of fill up the the space, right? I, it, layout, this has nothing to do with books. I do love books. So I use that sticker right there. It's, uh, it's just the books. And I'm going to put a live today on there. If you look at what I'm scrap lifting, Kathy has the same thing. She has something coming out kind of from the side of her... Um, photos I think she has a lot of labels if I'm remembering correctly see you can see underneath right now you can see underneath where well actually no because this is going to be in the spot I was going to say you can see the sticker sheet where it's at but actually no that's a lie sorry you can see I did put a label down right there I am right here tying this little piece of crochet thread you see I just took a knot and tied it I'm sticking the knot the strands from the knot underneath and through the hole I'm just it's like a fake I'm fake tying the tags <laughs> I'm fake tying the tags and uh, I do that on both of those I do believe this other one that I do I kind of mess up when I'm tying the knot and it's a little messy looking but that's okay because I like that it adds a little bit of texture because we already have um, all these ripped papers so it's okay if this knot is just a little tattered and messed up I think that um, kind of adds to the distress of the page because the page already has the foam mixed media on it so we've got some you know splattery bits already looks a little bit distressed and that just kind of adds to it um, you can see I am taking those flowers and placing them down around the page. I just try to put them where I think they will look best. I do use a couple of them. I don't think I really go overboard with the flowers, but I do use several of the flowers. I am going to be using several of the word strips from that one canoe two paper pad. We're going to end up putting on there, making memories, adventure. Remember this always live today and inspiring. So we did use quite a few of the word strips that are at the bottom of that sticker sheet. So I was really happy about that. Um, some of these flowers are going to be popped up on foam and some of those flowers are going to be a flush to the page. We're just going to have a little bit of a variety to give you a little bit more to look at. Absolutely love that. That's the making memories. I do pull that in. It's a, kind of like a navy blue, but in the feels like home title piece that we're using is the heart. It does have the dark color in it. So I did want to have a little bit more of that. So we are going to add that up there at the top. Then we're going to go on to some more words. What are we going to use here? Here we're going to be using adventure. Adventure is going to be popped up on some foam tape. And underneath that, it looks like I already have the other word stripped down. It says, remember this always. So we have, do have adventure up there because we do do some adventures. I'm also going to be taking some of the, um, that was another flower that I just got put down. Um, on this sticker sheet, there was some plus signs. We are going to be... Um, using some of those to kind of decorate from the corners. You can see on Kathy's layout, she has the stars, one in one corner, or not one, but a group in one corner and a group in another corner. On ours, we're going to be using these plus signs. Now, again, um, most of the ones at the top right, not most, I think pretty much all the ones at the top right are going to be up on a little bit 
a little tiny foam dot. And the ones at the bottom are there as well. Okay, I thought I left some, oh, I do have one flush to the page. I was gonna say, I thought I left some flush to the page and I did, but not very many. So when I put these um, foam, little foam dots on there, uh, I only used half of them, and if I can find, yes, right here. These are little foam dots I got from close to my heart. You can see, uh, I don't know if you can see, the papers a little, or the plastic is um, cut into. Um, if I just want to use a very, very small piece, I will just take my scissors, and I will cut it in half while it's still on the the backing sheet, the carrier sheet, or whatever it's called. So I'll cut the foam dot in half there, and then I have just the smallest bits of foam, and they're intact, and I can um, just use the smallest bit. Those plus signs are very small, so you just have a small bit to use. Now, at the end of this video, you know how I usually move the um, layout up to the camera. I didn't do that or maybe it didn't record or something. We're going to be abruptly cut off here in just a little bit. But this right here is basically how the layout is going to look right there. I put inspiring down. I think when the video cuts off, I'm just doing um, the crochet thread for this tag right here. Um, and that's going to be all we do. This is what it looks like. Oops. This it looks like very, very cute absolutely love this um yeah that's what it looks like all right guys i want to thank you so much for joining me there are still photos at the end if you'd like to support my channel go to beckybidding.closetomyheart.com many of the things well, maybe not many of the things some of the things in the, this layout um, we use was from close to my heart um just basically the tag dies and the foam tape still very useful tools so you can hop over there and pick you up some of those i want to thank you so much for joining me please make sure you check out dolly and kathy i will also have them linked down below and i will see you next time bye guys